you're looking for a shampoo without sulfates, you, there's a couple things you should know. The first is there's some confusing names. Um, so one you don't want is sodium lauryl sulfate. And this is used in lots of cleaning agents like uh, engine degreasers, floor cleaners, car wash soaps. But you also find it in the toothpaste, sh uh, shampoo, shaving cream, and, and the like. And then the other one is sodium, and these sound very similar. Of course, sodium lauryl sulfate is the name used in the shampoos. I've not seen this name used, but obviously it's got several names. But then there's also sodium lauryl sulfate, or laureth sulfate. Notice uh, just the different word right here. And this one's also... Uh, probably not quite as harsh as the uh, other one, as the laurel, but it's still fairly harsh. Then there, you also, to make this even more confusing, there's also sword, sodium laurel sulfoacetate. Now this one is actually a gentle cleaner, so uh, when compared to uh, the sodium laurel sulfate, there is no comparison so you can use just because it's got SLS in an ingredient does not necessarily make it bad so you got to kind of watch for those ingredients this SLS is bad but uh, this one is not but this one actually has an uh, abbreviation of SLSA so if you run into that on an ingredient list don't worry about that one Some other things and you want to avoid, of course, um, you know, one of the reasons to avoid SLS is things like hair loss and dry hair and itchy scalp and all sorts of bad things. But sodium chloride is another one you want to avoid because it can give you a lot of the same things as SLS plus color loss and can uh, eat your keratin treatments. But uh, sodium chloride is known as table it's a table salt eventually or essentially um, but you you will see the word sodium used a lot in shampoo products don't worry about that unless it's followed by chloride totally different ingredients and oh uh, yeah sodium chloride is a, a and SLS it's a bad thing for uh, if you have keratin treatments so avoid those ing ingredients if uh, if you do have a keratin treatment and the other things to look for are alcohols uh, now there's confusing a confusing array of alcohols too but uh, two you want to avoid is isopropyl alcohol and propyl alcohol you might see things like laurel alcohol and acetyl alcohol but those are actually moisturizers so just keep this word in mind and uh, you should be okay and then lastly, there are things like parabens. Um, these are have been shown to, to be involved in cancers. They haven't been proved to be cancer causing, but they've been detected in breast tumors. So some people are a little wary about this, but you know, there were a lot of unanswered questions. So it's not a definitive, but you can avoid uh, parabens. That's probably a good thing to do. One shampoo that has is missing all of these ingredients with sulfate-free, sodium chloride-free, paraben-free, and no drying alcohols is the Viseri Beauty shampoo and it's and conditioner. It's available on Amazon. It also has argan oil, which uh, you would think would be make your hair kind of heavy, but argan oil is very moisturizing without leaving your hair very heavy at all. It uh, is an excellent moisturizer. So, check it out. Uh, there will be a link below.